Would it help or hurt Native Hawaiians? Good evening, I'm Kenny Choi. The debate is underway at a number of public hearings as the federal government explores if Native Hawaiian governance should fall under federal law. KITV 4's Paul Drews has more in tonight's top story. Let's start getting to a kissing match right now. As demonstrated at this morning's meeting, many are passionate about Native Hawaiian governance. You get the new breed, you cut a while, and it's all good. <laughs> so, why are the Departments of Interior and Justice diving into this emotionally explosive issue? Congress has already, as Rhea mentioned, passed more than 150 laws specifically about Native Hawaiian issues, and in so doing, has created a special political and trust relationship between the United States and the uh, Native Hawaiian community. But what's been lacking is a formal government-to-government -government relationship. The federal government wants to know if it's time for one, but many at the day's public hearings feel it's time for something else. From the apologies that have been made, treaties that have been broken, that the time is now to reinstate the nation of Hawaii from a moral, not only a political pers perspective. The panelists said that is something outside the power of their departments. Instead, we are committed within the confines of what we can do to provide a form of redress or justice to the Hawaiian people, which may not be whole, but it is a pathway of trying to help us. Representatives from the federal government have five questions about a possible new partnership. But residents have been giving them a lot of no's. And the fourth question, we adamantly submit a no. We do not feel that the state or any Native Hawaiian community organization should facilitate the process in which we should be able to determine a government to government relationship. We need to decide how to govern ourselves, not with you folks involved at all. Now, some I talked with tonight said the federal government needs to address the illegal overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom first before they discuss any possible government to government relationship. Now, there will be more public hearings with federal departments on Oahu and the neighbor islands over the next two weeks. Kenny, back to you.